So let's talk about the mind-body connection. The mind-body connection is the link between a person's thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors, and their physical health. While scientists have long understood that our emotions can affect our bodies, we're just now beginning to understand how emotions influence health and longevity. The mind-body connection is an important component of holistic medicine, which is a healthcare philosophy that seeks to treat the whole person and not just their symptoms. Now more than ever, doctors understand the importance of a comprehensive approach to care that includes mind, body, and spirit. When we're stressed, our bodies release two hormones, adrenaline and cortisol, known as the stress hormones. They're supposed to give us short-term energy boost, so like better known as your adrenaline rush, so we can get out of dangerous situations quickly. However, however, you can still feel stressed even if there's no danger to escape. Releasing these hormones too frequently can have negative long-term effects on the body, including a weakened immune response, digestive problems, and healing more slowly. While the connection between stress and health is easy to understand, it's harder to imagine that the way we think and what we believe can affect our health too. Negative thinking patterns, assuming the worst, jumping to conclusions, and self-criticism can make it more difficult to deal with health problems. For example, if a patient is diagnosed with prediabetes, they may think everyone in my family has it, there's nothing I can do to prevent it, even after being told by their doctor that prediabetes is reversible with diet and exercise. This negative inner voice can have serious health consequences and those type of thought patterns are difficult to break. That's why mind-body therapies come in to help. It's important to note that the mind is not synonymous with brain. Instead, in our definition, the mind consists of mental states such as thoughts, emotions, beliefs, attitudes, and images. The brain is the hardware that allows us to experience these mental states. Mental states can be fully conscious or unconscious. We have emotional reactions to situations without being aware of why we are reacting. Each mental state has a physiology associated with it, a positive or negative effect felt within the physical body. For example, the mental state of anxiety causes you to produce stress hormones. Many mind-body therapies focus on becoming more conscious of mental states and using this increased awareness to guide our mental states in a better, less destructive direction. So a couple of these mind-body therapies, um, they are healing techniques to promote relaxation and encourage mindfulness. These therapies use the body to affect the mind and vice versa. And some common include acupuncture, which we talked about last week, um, art therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, group therapy, guided imagery, meditation, music therapy, tai chi, and yoga. If you have any questions on the mind-body connection, please feel free to drop a comment below.